Thick and fast Tom Dallas looking for a seventh straight win. His last four opponents have been blown away inside two rounds apiece. He faces Mihaly Nemet looking for a fourth straight win. Two of those wins by knockout. He's taken jobs around Europe. This is his first fight in Britain. Second out. Latest outing for the uh, tall, improving former decent amateur Tom Dallas, who continues along the early stages of the professional road. Six out of six, so a good start. And he's in tonight with the more experienced Hungarian Mihaly Nemet. He's been doing well, Dallas, Jim. Yep, he's been doing very well. Uh, he's got a very kind of stand up style, he's very tall. Obviously, so there's, there's, there's changes there. You might think about making, but change your mind because good leverage in the punches. Oh, there, there's the left oh, hand. Left hand. And down goes Nemet. It's a body shot just before that as well that seemed to trouble him too. And the confidence that Dallas is bringing to the ring, and also the weight advantage. Almost two stone. A lovely uppercut and a right hand down again. This isn't going to last long. He's looking at his corner, Nemet, as if to say, what on earth has hit me? He deserves some credit for getting back up again a couple of times, but I don't think he's going to be lasting long. These are good punches from Dallas, they're clean. He's picking up, oh, that's that, so clean. That could have been it, and a left hand, and down he goes again. Nemet and Ken Curtis says no more. Well, Nemet didn't come here to quit. I think he fancied giving that a go. The fact that three times he tried to carry on when his cause looked uh, hopeless. But uh, good work from Tom Dallas. I was about to say there are probably some changes you like to make to his style, but uh, he's very tall, he's upright. He throws kind of arm punches, though he's very heavy handed. So they're going to work with what they have. But he's certainly producing, and these punches really were well delivered and they were accurate bang on the chin for the first knockdown Nemet just couldn't get started couldn't get the chance to get any of his own punches off already he's looking over at the corner already I think he knows it's a lost cause but to his credit he tried to give it a go but just completely out of his league Dallas punching too strong and too accurately that one was bang on the chin Pointless letting this one go any longer. And uh, when you see fighters uh, glancing over at the corner with that kind of look on their face, it's not for advice, it's <laughs> what's going on here, then no point letting it go further. But good night's work for Dallas, but I'm sure he would have preferred an opponent that would have lasted a little bit longer. Starting to put a roll together, though, Tom Dallas. Seven out of seven, five by knockout. Tom Dallas, like what you see? Yeah, you know, he's got them very basic skills. He's upright. He needs to move, you know, his shoulders and his head a little bit. But, you know, I like what he's doing. He's very heavy-handed and he's getting guys out of there. He does the basics well, doesn't he? He does the basics well. He looks very heavy-handed, as Glenn said. And, and just nice pressure work, nice, nice wide stance. Doesn't let his opponent get in any close and just use the jab and sets him up the heavy shots. How far can, can he go, do you think? Well, you know, he's 24. He's, uh, he's, he's certainly one to watch, I think. Bring him slowly, get him the right fight, and, you know, he can go quite a way. Another big punching heavyweight up next. His name, Larry Olibamiwo. Knocked out four of his...